first thing we're going to do is add the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer and my NYX Dream Eyeshadow Pencil and Strawberry Milk for a base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a light pink eyeshadow. I'm using the Max Eyeshadow and Star Flash. And just apply that on the inner corner of the eye, or inner third. And then next we're going to take a medium pink shadow from the Coastal Scents 88 palette um, and we're going to apply that in the middle of the lid, so the second third. And make sure to tap off excess because if you use Coastal Scents palettes, they usually have a lot of fallout, so be careful of that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a darker, like a hot pink magenta from the Coastal Sense 88 palette and put that on the outer third of the eye, making the outer V and kind of curving it into the crease. You're going to have to be careful, careful on this part because sometimes these pink shadows can go everywhere if you're not careful about how you're blending them. So just be sure to blend it into the crease and take your time because it may take a little while. And then we're just going to fix up any of the colors that may have gotten washed out. Including maybe the first light pink color, the second pink color. Or maybe we want to intensify a little bit of the outer color. And then we're going to take a light skin tone shade from the Coastal Sense 88 palette. And I'm going to put that as my brow bone highlight. And you can use any color you want. I just prefer the skin tone for this look. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to fill in my brows just using a dark brown shadow from the Coastal Sense 88 palette and I'm just going to use some brow gel. You can do whatever you like to do with your brows. Then we're going to do eyeliner, and I'm going to curl my lashes, and I'm going to add mascara. Then I'm going to use my NYX Glitter Liner in Baby Pink, and put that on the upper lash line over the black, and the lower lash line over a pink or by itself, or if you want to use it over a black on the bottom lash line, you can, but I do not recommend putting this on your waterline, definitely. And then I'm going to take some bronzer and use it on my face. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pink blush and just put that on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take my angled liner brush again and I'm going to use a hot pink glitter that I got from Glamour Doll Eyes. And I'm going to put that over the NYX Candy Glitter Liner in Candy uh, Baby Pink. That, uh, um, But make sure you, d you put this glitter over the NYX liner while it's still wet because that way the glitter will stick and you won't have as much fallout. And we're going to put that over the over the NYX glitter liner on the top lash line and the bottom lash line. This, this is optional. It just gives it a lot more sparkle and shimmer and it just makes it a lot more festive. But if you'd like to keep it a little tamer you can just use the glitter liner. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that glitter from Glitter Eyes and put it on my lid just a little bit to try to kind of just sparkle up the lid a little bit as well. And then I'm going to take my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Frosted Beige, just a simple nude color with a little bit of shine just to make sure that we have something on our lips but we don't want to overpower our big um, sparkly eyes. You can use whatever lip gloss you want. I'm just using my next lip gloss because I really like it. Alright, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a nice 2011. And I hope you enjoyed this look. Thanks for watching. Bye.